Welcome back. Well, if you remember, I started off discussing the CSE 1010 course with the example of this sentence. I ask you to, uh, if any one of you could read it. Remember? Hmm? No? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can understand what is written here. Yeah. What, what is it in English? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I started off this discussion and I plan to change uh, the sentence, but I thought to keep it. So again, the idea to convey was like something which many of us do not understand. In order to understand that, we need to process it into something which we can at least read. So here you can at least read, but still do not understand it, right? So we need to go through another process to turn it into something which we can not only read, but also understand. And this is what he has actually translated already. So this was the example that I gave you in CAC 1010, and exactly the similar procedure uh, is being followed in translating our language or whatever language we use to write or develop computer into something which computer understands. So here, we use something like this, A equals B plus C plus D to write an instruction, and a piece of software called compiler translate it into something which you can read, but still you may not understand until and unless you learn that language. Okay, and then another piece of software called assembler converts it into something which computer understands. That is called the machine language or the machine code or the numbers simply. So this entire thing is executed inside a chip, which we generally refer to as central processing unit. And then central processing unit is a part of a computer, um, which is the main computing system among all other peripherals. <clears throat> so this procedure is exactly similar to converting the high level language that you use to communicate with a computer. The procedure converts into something which you can read but do not understand. And then another procedure converts it into something which computer understands, which is, again, a machine language, okay? So the design hierarchy is you write your code, no matter what language you use, be it Python, Java, C, C++, whatever. The compiler converts that behind the scene into an assembly code, okay? And you can, of course, develop your programs in assembly language but it will be very time consuming. But in past, like a couple of decades ago, people used to program in assembly language. Then assembler converts this assembly language into this machine, uh, machine code, ones and zeros. Does anybody have any idea of what does this one and zeros represent? Physically? Hmm? On and off. What do you mean by on and what do you mean by off? Yeah. So we will be talking about that switch. But what are these actually ones and zeros, on and off, or true or false? Yeah. Current going through a wire. Sorry? Current going through a wire. Current going through a wire, or in other words, a voltage. So one corresponds to the high voltage ranging between. Um, 3.5 to 5 volts and 0 corresponds to low voltage ranging between 0 to 0 0.7 volt. So these voltage levels are actually in turn controlled by these logical components and are not different logic gates. And I assume that you must have already studied these uh, basic logic gates in 2500. Am I right? Great. So we have actually have to go through um, digital logic design basics as well. So do you know these, um, these logic schematic diagram or the logical components are still not the lower level of abstraction? We have further, um, uh, further deep down, um, these logic gates are composed of something. Does anybody know about what are these gates are composed of?
transistors. So these logic gates are composed of transistors. And what are these transistors composed of? Anyone? So these transistors are composed of or fabricated on a material called semiconductor, which is uh, which is silicon is commonly used as a semiconductor. So this is the um, lowest level of abstraction. So what you write on a code is actually executed on a semiconducting device. I will be talking about it um, later on today. Um, again, this is um, a material, a semiconductor, and with the help of different chemical patterns, the current flows from one end to another end. And this is what we call a switch. So again, recall this uh, flow chart kind of thing, which I shared with you in CSE 1010. And that time, the focus of CSE 1010 was only to learn high level language, which, uh, which was Python that time. In this course, our focus would be to learn assembly language, how this assembly code is converted into machine code. So what you write in Python, like say if something, blah, blah, do this, how it is converted into a machine code of ones and zeros. So you would know what you write and what computer understands. And then how machine codes are executed on logic gates. So logic gates is actually not, um, um, not the main component of this course, but we need to understand the logic gates. We need to understand how they are connected together to form a circuit in order to build up our knowledge of computer architecture. Okay? We will not be discussing at the transistor levels and the semiconductor levels. 